Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, if you have not seen the uh, recent news on Twitter, Mina Kimes, the NFL analyst on ESPN, has actually recently got a new contract. And don't get me wrong, she's a really good analyst. I think she's really good. She has a sports knowledge and everything. But there's somebody on Twitter that has been having some beef with her for some reason. And everybody has been talking about this. His name is Nick Adams. I'll put the tweet up on screen of what he said. But it says here, ESPN just gave a huge new contract to their NFL analyst Amina Kimes. Kimes has never played a down of football in her life, yet she will be paid $1.7 million a year to talk about it with, to talk about it on woke ESPN. ESPN is no longer about sports, it's about promoting equity among the genders. Now there's a whole bunch to get into this, there's a whole bunch to talk about with this, so without further ado, if you're going to enjoy, drop a like, and without further ado, let's get into it. Now, real quick, I want to go and point out, I'm going to put this guy, Nick Adams, uh, his Twitter in the description if you want to go argue him. Basically, who this guy is, is he's one of these guy, people that thinks they're kind of like the alpha male, the Andrew Tates of the world. To sum it up, he thinks that girls should not be involved in anything sports related, which I completely disagree. I think when it comes to women and female, when it comes to the sports industry, if they know what they're talking about and they can go up there and talk word for word, and sound like they know what they're speaking of when it comes to whether it be football, basketball, baseball, whatever sport they may be doing. If they know what they're talking about, they deserve to be in that field. And when it comes to Mina Kimes, uh, POV, she knows what she's talking about. Now, what he said was she's never played a down in football ever, so why should she be out there? I got a newsflash for you, bud. There's a lot of people that are analysts, reporters, journalists that have never played a down of football sometimes even guys over in basketball and baseball that have never played the sport at all yet they talk about it like we're gonna just stay in the field of football for this video let me go through a couple of the big time uh analysts reporters when it comes to uh football and let's see how many of them actually played the sport first up i know it's a bad example because he just got fired from espn here recently todd mcshay did he play football well it says here he did play uh, at college, he attended the University of Richmond where he was a walk-on. He didn't really get to play much. He served as a scout team quarterback, sustaining a back injury, which then went on to end his college career. So in Todd Mache's situation, he played high school ball, never really panned out in college with the injury. Next up, we got the guy that talks about all about who we should be drafting in the NFL draft, Mel Kuyper Jr. Did he play football? Says here, Kuyper never played organized football. He played junior varsity baseball before hurting his arm, but sits on the board of the booster club. Guy number two, read my lips, guy, male, didn't play football, yet he talks all about sports. Let's go to another guy. We have Field Yates. Uh, did he play football? Let's see. Uh, he attended Belmont High School and was a member of their football team as a tight end slash linebacker. He did tweet out back in 2017 saying, yes, I did play football at college at West Salem uh, University, which not a big college another person that didn't go big time in football meaning these guys are not big time athletes but yet they can talk all about the sport our next subject we have Ian Rappaport big time newsbreaker when it comes to the NFL Network did he play football hmm let's see uh Rappaport was a college rower at Columbia University rower and our last two subjects we have Dan Graziano never played football what did he do prior to ESPN he covered football and he covered baseball baseball yet he talks all about football and we respect him another person here we have adam schefter the man everybody respects in espn because he's always breaking the news nowhere in here could i find anything saying if he did or did not play football it mostly just talks about him working as a journalist ever since college working behind the scenes with denver pose uh nfl insider nfl network before eventually getting to espn i want to go ahead and do one thing i want to point out to everybody out there that thinks these analysts that don't ever play the sport, like I said in the beginning of the video, don't matter what, what sport it is they're talking about. The people who they want are going to be like these players that are the Hall of Famers, the well-respected guys, the ones that have been out there, won championships, and done all of it. Those players are not going to be your analysts because why would they want to come back and do that? They've probably made a lot of money with all the titles and all the success they've had. They're going to just go enjoy their retirement. Now, don't get me wrong. We've had some of the great ones come back and work with TV. Tom Brady's going to be doing uh, announcing for Fox. Peyton Manning and Eli Manning are going to be doing the Manning cast. You had Randy Moss working with ESPN. 
you got some of the guys, Larry Fitzgerald coming back, trying to work with ESPN. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. In Mina Kimes' case, I think she's going to do great. I'm going to leave it with this. For anybody that has not basically watched Mina Kimes on TV, she does work with a lot of different people. She's done. She's been on Get Up before, First Take before, uh, Around the Horn. She has her own little podcast. She works on NFL Live. She does a lot of the weekday shows throughout the week on ESPN. And every time she's on the air, she sounds like she knows what she's talking about. She knows the players' names. She knows the stats. She gets everything up to date. She knows kind of the history of football. If it comes down to referencing something from like back in the 80s or 90s, she's able to pinpoint dates, talk about it, make everything sound good. I just think people talk about her and thinking, well, she's a woman. She's not going to know what she's talking about. People think that she's going to go on air and say, well, I saw Tom Brady throw the football for a touchdown. Yay. Like, no, she knows how to, whenever Brady was playing for the Buccaneers, to say, in the fourth quarter, Tom Brady threw a go route to Mike Evans deep down the right hash sideline for a touchdown with about four minutes left to go against the Los Angeles Rams. She knows this stuff, and she knows how to say it accurately. One last thing before I wrap it up. For any woman out there that's trying to get in sports, and this can go for anybody, woman, men, whatever you are. Uh, anybody that's trying to get into sports, for me personally, I love to get into sports uh, talk stuff. That's what I'm trying to do now. Anybody that's trying to get into it, just keep working. Keep working hard. Anybody can get into it. If you know what you're talking about, you know what you're doing, anybody can get into it. And you can see me at times, $1.7 million a year. Goddamn. I just do kind of think it's sad that she did get this contract, but we saw so many other people get laid off. Like Todd McShay, I said earlier on, got laid off. Uh, Max Kellerman, Keyshawn Johnson, uh, Jay Williams. There were so many people that got laid off with ESPN that some of them maybe needed to go. Some of them did not need to go. But I guess congratulations to the people that are getting some pay raises. To those that did leave, I have seen they are getting some pay raises with other companies. Keyshawn Johnson did go to another network. He's doing pretty well. But other than that, that's all I got to talk about for today's video. I'll stop ranting. If you wanted to enjoy today's video, as always with all my other videos, make sure you're dropping a like. It lets me know that you're enjoying the video that I am posting. If there was anything you disagree with in today's video, uh, Nick Adams, if you see this video and you want to talk about this, bud, leave me a comment down below or even any of you that are watching, leave me a comment down below if you disagree with anything I said or agree with anything I said. Let me know your opinion down in the comments. If you wanted to enjoy today's video and you're a fan of the channel and the content that I am posting here and you want to go ahead and, you know, subscribe, the button's right there. It's free. It costs nothing. And hit that notification bell so you're notified the second I post. But without further ado, this has been Dell Talk Sports. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.